Hi, I'm Esther Eckhart. I'm with Yogetic.com and I'm a yoga teacher. Um, this is part two of Pregnancy Yoga with Jess. So um, I, I assume you have seen part one. This is standing poses. Part one was about the sitting poses. Have fun practicing it. Okay, I'm now going to do some standing poses, which you could do along with the, um, the sitting poses. And for some of these, uh, you've got to be really careful to make sure that you're strong enough to hold yourself and that you don't overstretch at all in the hips. So to start off with, I'm going to stand in mountain pose. And this is really good for birth preparation um, because you can work on strengthening your thighs, standing with your knees slightly bent and tilting your pelvis, and releasing down through the lower back. From here, I'm going to step back into a pregnant triangle pose, so I won't be reaching down doing this. Okay. So that it's just a more gentle pose. And then from here, I can come into warrior two. You can also use the chair in this pose if you don't feel strong enough to hold yourself up. And it also makes it so that it's easier to stretch more in your inner thighs and in your hips to release. So you've got extra support there. And then from there you can come back up to mountain pose. And then do the same on the other side, taking a step back into the triangle pose. And then turning your arms and coming down into warrior two. Okay, and then we're going to do a forward bend, my hands behind my back. This helps as well for um, sciatic pain. It helps to release down the back of your legs. So breathing in and then coming forward from the hips. And then just to finish off, just to have an all over body stretch, I'm going to do stork pose. Um, if you're feeling a little wobbly, it might be good to do this near a wall so that you can hold on in case you fall over. And so coming onto one leg, take your foot in your hand, stretch your arm up, same time. Taking deep breaths so that you can stretch right through the body. And then do the same on the other side. Okay, and then to finish off, you could do a deep relaxation lying on the floor on your side. You can use the pillow to put under your knee and pillows under your head. And then take deep breaths to completely relax the body.